In this tutorial, we show the process of using FlatFab to create a unique object from beginning to end. We start by modeling in FlatFab, in this case, a horse. We've sped up this process by a factor of three. The horse model took about three minutes to create in total. For hardware, we'll be using a laser cutter to create our object, specifically the VersaLaser VL300. For the software workflow, we're using FlatFab to create the digital model and then exporting an SVG file which is loaded by Adobe Illustrator. From Illustrator, we'll print our flat model to the laser cutter. The material we are using is a sheet of MDF, or medium density fiberboard, which is 3 millimeters thick. Feel free to use any material you wish, this is what we happen to have lying around. For a new material, we first want to save a calibration shape. We set the units to centimeters and the thickness to 3 millimeters, which is our material thickness. Then we select File and Save Calibration Shape. We specify the dots per inch for the SVG file. We enter the lower bound for percentage to calibrate. We use the default of 70%. We then specify the increment between percentages to test. We use the default of 2%. Finally, we save the calibration SVG. From within Illustrator, we print the SVG file. For page settings, we specify a user-defined landscape. Specify dimensions which match your cutting device. We also ensure Do Not Scale is selected. We make sure the printer is set to VL300. We press Print and specify all important settings for the laser cutter, the type of material, and its thickness. These settings may be unique to your cutting device. Test it out and see what works for you. The calibration shape will reveal the percentage of the material thickness to use for the width for each slit so that pieces fit together snugly due to friction. No glue will be required during assembly. Back to our horse, we exported an SVG from FlatFab and loaded it into Illustrator. For our laser cutter, we set the stroke color to 25500, or fully red, for those curves to be cut. We also set the stroke thickness for all curves to 0.01 .01 points. Our working canvas has dimensions equal to the laser cutting bed. We place the curves defining the horse relative to the other objects that we just cut so we can continue to create parts from a large single sheet of MDF. A useful tip is to place the curves for a new object to print into a new layer and before printing hide all previous layers. We then print the horse layer as before. Finally, we assemble the model by sliding the fabricated pieces together. In the case of this horse, we rely on the reference digital model for assembly. However, you may also explore an SVG which labels each pair of slits that interconnect. This can greatly simplify the process of assembly for a more complex model.